friends, welcome to another art time lapse. For this art time lapse, I'll be doing another storefront. For this one, I'll be doing a post office. And for the character that will be sitting at the storefront and enjoying the storefront, it will be inspired by Studio Ghibli's Kiki Slivery Surface, which I think is perfect for a post office. I first lay down the groundwork of where I want everything to be approximately for the storefront by using gouache and diluting it with a lot of water just to create a translucent watercolor effect so I can set the groundworks for where everything will be. As I layer on the different colors, I add on more and more pigments of the gouache and usually diluting it with a variety of different um, pigments including some greens and blues and cobalts just to create it more dimension for the depth rather than just a dark black or gray color. For the post office here I decided to have these double doors with light so lots of light can shine through and I want some potted plants and vines running up the side of the storefront. I love how green and organic the colors are turning out and here I'm going to start on the little characters that will sit at the front of the store. And of course it will be Kiki and his friend. If you enjoy these types of art time labs, please consider like, subscribe and sharing this channel. It really does help a lot. I just imagine sitting leisurely outside a post office, enjoying the beautiful weather and the company and just chilling out and maybe even zoning out. I mean, nowadays, how often do we get time to even sit down and zone out? I feel like that's an important part of the creative process, but with how everybody's striving to be super productive all the time, maximizing every second, I think it can be a little bit stressful so it's nice to give yourself time just to zone out or like enjoy the company of friends without a specific agenda. So as I mentioned it's gonna be a post office which I think is perfect for Kiki's delivery service. I've decided to add Gigi, the little cat beside Kiki as well, just chilling out in the front of the post office. I will be doing a whole series of storefronts with characters inspired by Studio Ghibli. Uh, the last one I did was the bookstore with Totoro. Uh, the next one I'll be working on is probably a hat shop with Howl's Moving Castle as a theme. For a lot of my gouache work, I like to add in details of oil pencils, such as this one, which is Arctic Gray Oil Pencil by Faber-Castell. They are super oil, how do I say it, very creamy when you add on the colors. It just blends in so nicely, and it just feels so therapeutic to color with them. I remember back in the day before COVID, I really enjoyed going to a coffee shop and uh, some of my gouache work and just slowly taking my time and coloring in the pieces but nowadays I hardly have enough time to even sit down as much given being a mother of two that I think it's a real luxury to even go to a coffee shop and sit down not to mention trying to make time to do a little bit of artwork on the side. I feel like Kiki's delivery service is such a classic piece nowadays. I don't think I realize how old I was until I finally look up how old these movies are or when they were produced. For example, Kiki's delivery service came out in 1989. That was a long time ago and it just really shows how i've aged but at the same time like looking back at the anime i love how creative and imaginative the whole piece has still is and resonates today uh despite a movie being from 1989. 
I still enjoy this movie very much and can imagine watching it with my kids in the future as they grow older. But I wonder if they would not be as interested in the movie given that it's more 2D as opposed to some of these 3D movies. Uh, let's say like they're currently quite young so they're really into Coco Melon. Um, which is a superstar in toddler world, FYI, in, which I did not discover until I had kids. But anyways, Coco Melon's like a 3D character that is almost like Frozen from Disney. Uh, but like, I wonder if they will still be drawn in by the storyline and the creativity of, and the ingenuity of how they put such a beautiful movie such as Kiki's Delivery Service together. And still appreciate it. Well, you know what? I probably will make them watch it anyway, so we'll see how things go. Right now, they're a little bit too young and can't really watch a full-length movie, uh, or they. I try not to make them have as much screen time, but I think eventually they will get there. Here, I'm just continuing taking my time blending in. One of the things I've noticed over the years with coloring is that it really makes a difference between pushing hard on a color pencil and trying to push those colors in the paper versus slowly blending the colors in softly layering the colors on it looks so different here i've also used my sakura jelly roll which is a uh, archival ink pen to add in some highlights such as the sign for the mail there. I know Kiki Delivery Service is I think it's a very iconic movie but to be honest I think a lot of people when they first hear about Studio Jolie this is not the movie that they think of or they may think of house moving castle or spirited away i think over time this has become such a classic i really love how the colors of the striped shirt from the boy and the little bow on her head really pops out in this drawing and makes it that much more interesting. I hope the full set of all the artwork of all the storefronts will look nice when it comes out at the end. If you are interested in learning how to draw a storefront, I do have a full process video available on Skillshare that you can check out in the description box below. And along with that, I do provide a link for you to get a 30 day, 30 day free trial to try out Skillshare. Here I'm using a white Prismacolor pencil to blend in the colors and it's just something I've been doing routinely. I know that there are some colorless blending pencils but I just really like blending with white for some reason. I just think it looks so smooth and just like how the after effect goes. So I'm just finishing up the potted plant here but there you go here's my final piece of the post office with kiki's delivery service inspired characters in the front i hope you enjoy this process i'm following along and listening to me reminisce over this movie and if you have time maybe you will catch up and watch the movie again or watch it for the first time well that's it for now hope you guys will Come and check out my next art time lapse with the next storefront. Take care.